Hi everyone, I thought I would take a minute and give you my opinion as to why we use vertical towers, media beds, and deep water culture beds. There are many ways of growing different varieties of plants, but this is what has been successful for our greenhouse. Media beds are great for long-term plants. These are plants that could grow for multiple seasons and don't need to be transplanted. Just a few of our plants in the media are this pink lemon tree, now in its second year, root crops such as beets or carrots, our lone pineapple, now in its third year, and the strawberries next to it, nasturtium, which we just keep cutting back, herbs like thyme and rosemary, and of course our vine plants like tomato and cucumber. The media beds also act as our biofilter, helping to break down the solids and convert the ammonia to nitrates. We use expanded shale in our beds. It's lightweight, pH neutral, and isn't sharp on your hands or roots. There are plenty of red wiggler composting worms helping to keep the solids from building up. If you're going to need a biofilter, you might as well also use that space to grow some plants. Towers work great to squeeze some more growing space into the greenhouse. This space in front of the fish tank would have been wasted, plus the towers help to block some of the light to the tank, reducing algae growth. We use them for growing strawberries since they keep plenty of airflow around the plant and it makes it very easy to remove dead material. This one plant is going to produce 21 giant berries. There are some strawberries in the media beds, but they are difficult to control the runners and the high humidity from the shale increases the chances of mildew on the berries. As a quick update, these shale filled towers are working well for the strawberries, but I wouldn't recommend them for much else since they are high maintenance. I still recommend getting the zip grow towers. I love the deep water culture for leafy greens like lettuce. This is a fast producing crop and it's easy to plant, move, and harvest these without disturbing the roots from neighboring plants. All of our lettuce is now grown using the grow grips instead of the net pots or other plugs. I also use some of the DWC beds for growing the salvinia, which is used to supplement some of the fish food. Our resident winter frog likes to hide in it too. That's about it for our different growing methods. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and we'll see you soon.